This is the biggest British monument in France to the combined military forces of the British and French empires who died during the First World War. It's immense. Just the number of names up here is, is staggering, really. Although when you look out at some of the cemeteries themselves, where the gravestones are for each individual, they just go on and on and on. Most of us, when we come on holiday to this part of France, drive straight past. We're going towards the sun or whatever. It's easy to do. But I think it's a really worthwhile diversion, even if only for a few hours, to have a look around and see some of the places where a whole generation of young Englishmen vanished. As you look at the names stacked up here on the list of young men whose bodies were never found, or more properly, never identified, you get the number of names that are the same. There's a lot of people called Moore, there's a lot of people called Wood, there's a lot of Wards, there's some Webbs, there's some Welches, and you wonder how many of them were related, maybe, brothers, cousins, it's really a very sad place and a very emotional place, but I think it's a place that's worth coming to. And I think if we don't keep coming, then it's a bit of a sad reflection on our world. We need to keep coming just to remember these people.